What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie P all day. Got some tractors and stuff behind me, so the sound might be a little jumbled like my face. So um, I'm bringing you something today that I think is beautiful. And it's a budget blade, and so far, I really like it. This is a Wild Stag. That's who makes it, Wild Stag. There's no real name on it. It's just a Wild Stag buoy. Um, or hunter, a hunting wild stag, hunting, hunting knife, hunting, a hung, hunting knife, and uh, it's pretty, it's pretty decent for what it is. And let's take a look at this sheath first. It's leather. It's okay leather. It's not jump out of your pants leather. What? Um, but it's all right. It's all right. It's it's attractive. Give that. This, um, you know, does nothing. But. It's a good looking, good looking leather sheath. Now let's get into this blade. Whoa. So here it is, man. You can see the layered handle is uh, all wood, different colored wood with brass spacers all the way through, brass um, pommel, brass guard, decorative, looks nice. The blade, and this is why I picked it up for like 30 bucks, maybe less than 30 bucks, 25 bucks, D2 steel. We're gonna put it to the test. I used it a little. You can see the uh, you can see the scratches on it, but um, I only used it a little. I haven't really given it a test. And I bought this 2018. It's just been sitting around waiting for um, waiting to be reviewed. But um, it's just really really nice. And Wild Stag. A lot of people don't know about it. It's one of those things where you type in Wild Stag knife on eBay or whatever. And it'll pop up. There's a company called Swords Axe. One word, Swords Axe. And uh, if you look them up on eBay, they sell tons of Wild Stag uh, knives. Now, as far as specs, dogs are still in the yard. Let's go over this D2 hunting knife for 25 ish dollars. All right, let's see if I can line it up like a real man. So we're looking at. 13, just a hair over 13, 13 and an eighth. Um, overall, we're looking at an eight and a quarter inch blade. And we are looking at probably an eighth thick. And let's see, let's see how deep the blade is. It looks like one and, oh man, one and a half, a little bit over that, a little bit over one and a half inch. Thick blade, uh, uh, depth. So, um, what I have to say about this, how it feels in the hand, it feels good for a hunting style knife. Um, it's not a survival knife, it's a hunting knife. And it, you can tell the different kind of grips and different kind of knives and what they're made for, and what they're good for. And um, this thing is definitely has a hunting knife grip. And it's, um, it feels good. It, it, the grip is round, right? Which means if I took my hand on this and I held the grip down, I could turn my hand right round grips that's what happens but because it's not a fighting knife and it's not a survival knife dogs going crazy um then you don't really need to worry about it turning in your hand because you think about what it's going to be used for i'm going to cut the head off a fish uh, i'm going to fillet it i'm going to rip open a deer cut off you know the limbs off small game things like that and it's going to be used for even just you can cut some rope around the camp and you can use it for food prep it's an absolute hunting knife that's it so i'm not worried so much about the round handle if you take the k-bar you know the utility most people know it as the um uh, usmc uh you take that it's a fighting knife with a round handle no bueno but a hunting knife with a round handle is okay do i prefer a round handle no i prefer a little bit more something but what this does have is a beautiful taper you see how narrow to thick that means i'm getting my thumb and my forefinger wrapped around there and it's not coming this way i can pull on that guard and i'm not gonna pull as long as i have a one size hole here that hole fits here not here so i can pull all i want you can see i'm just i'll grab that ricasso and pull uh, and I'm not gonna move not gonna move it um, it is full tang as it reads so I'm assuming it's a lot like the um, the down unders buoy where there's probably a very very small um, rat tail 
just to hold this um, the pommel on and keep everything tight. I have to say, this is very, very attractive. I really, really like the way they did this handle. I think it, they did a great job. But it's not always about the look, it's about the performance. So let's see how sharp it is. And remember, I did buy this in 2018. I used it a little bit. And as it sits now, it's not shave sharp. This is Donnie B. All Day. <laughs> I don't even know my own name. Donnie B. All Day. Get it down to the sharpener and sharpen it sharp. That, that's what it is. Um, but all in all, I mean, it feels okay. Here's one thing. If you run your fingers along this edge right here, right above the edge, you can feel very slight warping. Um, it's not the, the best blade as far as smooth. They didn't plane it all the way down and it's not perfect, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. It's a full flat grind and it feels pretty good. It feels pretty, it might even, yeah, yeah, it feels like a flat grind. Um, but it feels pretty decent. Is it perfect? Not in any way, shape, or form. But for 25 bucks, you're getting a hunting knife with a pretty good size D2 um, steel blade. Is it as thick as it should be for a knife this big? No. However, it's a hunting knife, which means when you're ripping and skinning, you want the thin blade. You look at the case hunting knives the fixed blade and that blade will flex I mean it because you want to be able to press down awesome it's awesome and uh, that's something that's kind of important in this blade I can actually flex it just a little bit and um, when you're talking about a knife like this that's pretty much what you want it to be able to do what else you want it to be able to do obviously you can't go hunting if you can't cut water bottles apparently so let's uh let's set you guys up in a uh, different place here see if I can't find a way to navigate the hold so they don't fall down and I might not be able to but trial and error all right let's see I'm gonna use something to post up there hey look at that Ta -da! so let's uh let's take a swat of this here water bottle Bottle day H2O. Make sure the dogs are still around. They are. How you like that form? That was nice. What else is nice? The cut that this thing just made. Look at that. That is sweet. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right open. Slice down. I mean, sliced across, sliced down. Both were perfect. Both work. Let's keep going. All right, so we have determined that it is not shave sharp out of the box, but it's water bottle sharp. Let's see if it is nylon rope sharp. And it absolutely is nylon rope sharp. Was I able to get a straight push cut? No, I had to give it a little bit of push, but once I even started the push, it kind of just ate right through it and uh i do like that oh, here's a big crooked piece of wood now remember it's not a chopping knife it's not a survival knife this is a hunting knife so don't over expect it to do tasks it's not made for but expect it to be able to do something that was a break not a cut there we go now that's a cut that's a cut now here's where you know, hunting knife to survival knife differences come in. Um, just doing the chopping, I can feel it rotating in my hand, right? Uh, and that's because it's got the round handle and it's just not made for it. It's not made to do what I'm doing, but that doesn't mean it can't do it. I just have to even out my grip, put my thumb on top, hold my fingers underneath like this, and what that does is it gives me less chance of, uh, of rotating. Sounds like somebody's lawnmower just blew a gasket. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That was a gunshot from the veteran cemetery. Somebody's getting their, uh, their finals read to them and another hero in the ground. All right, let's, wow. I have to say for a non-shave sharp hunting knife, this thing is uh, really, really doing well with this wood. 
I mean really, really well. So you need to make something sharp. I'll even feather stick on the way to a tip. That way it's, it's kind of a twofer. I need to get a nice tip on here, but I also need some uh, fluff for later on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off and I could add that to a fluff bundle. And all that time, I was honing myself a tip. So can you make, you know, can, is this gonna be good for your tent spikes and pit spikes and arrows and darts and yada, yada, yadas? Yeah, you can make a bow. Clear, clear out with this. Dog's gonna schmeg me all over the place. But uh, let's, do, um, let's do some four foot drops and we'll see how the balance goes. Very nice, very, very nice. Let's do that again. And again, it's nice. I can't believe the price of this. All right, we'll do a couple hard downward throws and we'll see how all this holds on. Woo! That's a digger right there. Woo! That one is solid. Oh, yeah. So here's a testament of how strong the handle and tip are if this tip is not bent this blade is not bent this thing here is about 45 50 pounds right when this goes into it and I pick it up it's not picking up a straight weight because this thing is so oddly shaped what's happening is when I pick it up it's the the, the weight is pulling to one side so if this was horrible what would have happened is this would have either bent snapped off or all of these because it would have shifted would be really loose right now and none of that happened so if you can lift an odd angle of around 50 pounds and not loosen bend or damage any part of your knife then your knife is doing pretty good let's do a little bit of light prying here Woo, man that's actually pretty good too so so far this d2 blade the only issue is it didn't come shave sharp but that's something that I can correct myself. And even though it didn't come shave sharp, it came sharp enough to cut right through the nylon rope and give myself a little action here. Let's knock off the tip that I already made. Wow. That's not so bad. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some uh, a side grip. And I love that where the ricasso and the handguard meet is a great place for the tip of the middle finger to really lock in there to get a nice side grip. And we're gonna do some, some pulling for feather sticking. And uh, what this is gonna do, it's gonna give me some really nice, long, really, really tight curls. I mean, those are paper thin. So let's see if we can leave a few on there. And I'm trying to leave them on there, they just keep falling off. Woo, man, there we go. There we go. And you can see all those pretty barrels, those pretty curls. Those things light up quite nice. Take them all down. Now I have a whole pile of really, really nice curls. Uh, let's try and do some pulls. So we'll dig that in there. Look at that. Look at that. So anyway, you want to see the difference? These uh, these barrels are really loose. Uh, it's almost like curling ribbon. Where the other ones, when I did a pull, I was able to control my stroke and it kept them very, very tight. They're tightly wound. This is good to um, get that initial fire going. The really tight ones are obviously gonna burn a little bit longer because there's less air. So you have different kinds and people don't realize that when you feather stick, there's different kinds of feathers. Even this stuff right here is just the outside. That stuff catches sparks so easy. Um, but that's what you have right there. So far, so far we're talking about a $25 budget Bowie and um, you know, a hunting Bowie, hunting knife. And uh, it's doing pretty good. Let's get it over to some hardwood which is what we were just working with. Let's see if we can't just de-limb because 
a good hunting knife is going to be needed for more than just being a good hunting knife. A good hunting knife is going to need to do camp task. And uh, unless you're carrying two blades with you, then you really need something that's going to be able to get it all done. Here we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's nice. So that was it right there. So do I have the ability to, um, to cut through some wood? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now here's a little something I want to do. Flat pommel. Good hammer. So now I have this. Look how solid that is. I can use that for building structure, building fires, building traps, anything I need to do. All there. Now let's make sure that nothing has loosened. Everything looks good. The edge took no chips. I thought it did right there, but it's just a dirt spot. Um, there we go. Got it off. So no chips, no warping, no folding, no anything. Uh, so far, this little wild stag is holding up pretty good. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Take a walk with me, y'all. Take a walk with me. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Oh, won't you be mine? Would you be mine? Oh, won't you be my neighbor? All right, so here we are. Here we are, and it only took one horrible song to get there. All right, so let's, uh, let's take this guy right here. Take that right there. Take this right here. Oh, stop rolling. There we go. There we go. It's what I'm posting it on so it doesn't just dig into the ground. I'm all over the place, just rolling. A rolling, rolling, rolling. I keep that log a rolling. So, so far, I paid 25 bucks for a hunting knife that is proving to be a do-all. And um, when I spend very little on a blade that gives me very much, I'm very happy. That's a whole lot of varies. That's a lot of variables. All right, so let's see if we can't get that to stand. Oh, oh. Oh, we're so close. Oh, good. Okay, so let's see if I can actually hit it here. <laughs> well, I did. I just didn't hit enough of it. Oh, getting it to stand is the hardest part. There we go. There we go. I didn't hit much of it, but I hit enough to, uh, to knock it apart a little bit. Let's see if I can do just a, uh, a hold a holding swat oh there we go that's a nice split right there so um i like it i like this thing uh it's one of those it's one of those surprise you knives you know what i mean it's like you don't expect to pay very little to get very much and um and that's exactly what happened is i paid very little and so far, I got very much out of this thing. So, let's go five yards away into a stump. Let's try not to drop it on my foot because, you know, flip-flops. All right, let me get a good hold on this guy. Let's see here. Five yards away on the target. Oh, my gosh. Kind of hit the blade and then rolled up. Good way to find out if I'm breaking anything. And so far, that yeah, looks pretty good. All right, let's try that again because I actually hit that hit that blade steel up. <laughs> How you like that? Right turn, Claude. How you like that? Second throw was the money maker. That first one just needed to show me how to do it, and it worked. So. Wild Stag. Is that what I said this thing's called? Wild Stag. 
hunting knife. I like it. I like it. I'm kind of a fan. D2 steel, which I am a fan of. I, I really like D2 steel. Um, I would say as a survival knife, it should have been thicker, but because it's a hunting knife, it should be thin. And uh, it's exactly what this is. It is a thin, long, beautiful hunting knife. The edge came right to do the tasks I would need it for. It just didn't come shave sharp. Uh, if it's not shave sharp, are you not gonna be able to cut through pelt? Absolutely, you can cut through pelt. Um, as a matter of fact, let's find some pelt. Let's find some pelt. Let me put it on pause while I look for some pelt. All right, we found some pelt. Old soccer ball that I like to cut up. So this is obviously made of pelt. That's what it is. Um, after banging it around and using it, can I cut open pelt? Well, I just did. So let's see here. Let's make it even bigger. Um, Absolutely. freaking lootly so uh, is it a hunting knife that can be used as a hunting knife well without a problem remember you don't shave pelts you cut through them this edge is perfect for getting through a pelt if I want it sharper I make it sharper it's that easy and because it's d2 d2 is not too hard to sharpen and it will hold the edge it will uh, maintain itself um, all in all I found a winner um, with this wild stag remember swords axe is uh, where you can find them on ebay or you just type in um, wild stag knife and they should start popping up and you'll see different handles what's gonna what's gonna really catch you to understand that it's the same thing as what what this is is you'll see the sheath the sheaths are built pretty much the same way um and they have like a button with a little star on it but uh this is good. This is good. I, I can't believe that there's this much knife for the price. Um, and uh, it, it's it's a worker. It's a worker bee. So uh, if you're looking for a hunting knife, you don't want to spend a ton of money, but you want to get a ton of blade. Right here, Wild Stag. Not too bad. Not too bad. This is definitely going in the Use It collection. Um, and uh, it will be used. It will be used. I, I really like this. I like the feel. I like the look. I like the weight. I like everything about this knife. Um, I'm going to put a better edge on it, and then I'm going to like it even more. Just the way it is. That's who I am and what I do, and I am Donnie B all day. And until next knife. Oh, yeah.